Okie dokie, good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to SCP Contemporary, which standard version episode 5, I think. Right. You may remember at the end of the last episode, we were stuck in that basement thing, and Ragtime Gal was trying to murder our face. I thought I was stuck there, and that I wouldn't be able to get out of this. However, I think, if I am careful, if I do this properly while I was editing it, I think I can get out of here. What? My butt. Could you move? Right, I think, just maybe, I can get out of here. If I can. If I can avoid them. Because the thing is, previously, on my final attempt to get out, I kind of wandered around a bit before actually going straight to the doorway, which is my problem. I shouldn't have done that, I should have just run straight for the doorway and then tried to get to the elevator. So I think I do have enough time to escape Mr... Mr... Mr. Goopy Face. Well, I can't if you're going to permanently be there. Yeah, obviously this is basically just going to be a small highlight reel of me attempting to escape this thing. And not doing a great job of it. So enjoy the highlight of failure. Great. Oh, we're back in here again, so we may, we may be able to work our way out of here, possibly, if we don't die an awful death in the... Um, the elevator shaft from blood loss like we did last time so there's a chance we'll get out a chance that's about that big but it's a chance it's very dark what the whoa 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 what 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 is going on what is going on hang on where am i where am i where am i oh gosh i'm here okay 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 what did i just see what the okay what the what the sorry sorry i'm just panicking my head off at the minute um right okay 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 we did it we got out we got out we survived that i got no ding dong glue where I am, right time gal, he's still trying to chase us, and I've got no idea what I saw. I saw something, I've got no clue what it was. Oh. We're back here, again. Oh, shit. What's that? I'm carrying more items. Well... Take one in the bum, then. Oh gosh, right, okay, so we managed to get away from him, only for him to then get me again. I've never left his hallucination world for him to then immediately pop up again. Just... Where am I? Oh gosh, not this again. Oh gosh, I'm not good at this. Okay, right, where is it coming across? Okay, it's coming across about there, so let me start, let me have a med cap. I clearly need one. Okay. okay, give me a minute, I'll get through this. Or I'll die, one or the other. You banish the wounds, but I'm able to stop them or taunt the bleeding. Oh, great, which means I'm almost undoubtedly going to die. Oh, that's lovely. Touch this was made hallucinations. Okay, great, well, I, I nearly got through. I got a lot further than I did last time. Wasn't enough, though. Okay, right, I think I can do this. If I just run, I don't, if I don't activate this chap here, this big red chap, if I don't get him to say anything, I think he'll move off faster. Yeah, he's going. Okay, so just give him a couple seconds. Slowly creep forward. Avoid Mr. Ragtime Gal. And run. Okay, 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 okay. See, this one, the elevator's already here. Which means I should have... If I'm good, just enough time. Just enough time to do this. Do not clip through the sunrise shot. I will murder you and my children. Did we do it? I'm not going to save because I'm scared beyond all measure. 
Larson? Who's Larson? What is Larson? Why should I care about Larson? No, he's not gone yet. No, he's not gone yet. He's not gone yet. Oh, gosh. Oh, we did it. Do I need one of these? Probably. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. But it's too late now, anyway. To painkillers, it still hurts to walk. Please tell me I'm not permanently going to die now. Okay, but we've got the hand! We've got the severed hand! Yes! Which works. You can do things like this with a key card. Yes! Okay, that means we can get through the DNA scanner doors. I've got no idea where the nearest DNA scanner door is, but now we can get through. So that's good. We're kind of making progress. Um, <laughs> one thing I'm kind of curious to do, however, is putting it in the machine and see what happens then. Seeing if anything cool happens with that. I highly doubt it, but there's a chance. There's a chance something interesting can happen. Maybe a whole person will come out. Who knows? Let me, um, give me a minute and I'll faff around with this and see if I can make anything interesting on it. Okie dokie, so from our extremely scientific testing of doing random stuff until stuff happens, what we have discovered is that one to one, fine and very fine, change the skin colour of the hand. It either changes it from black to white or white to black, depending on what you put into it. Uh, if you put it on coarse or, or rough, it comes out as a bloodstain, and that's it. Okay, so there's nothing you can do with that. There's nothing at all that changes that. Um, I'm assuming the skin colours have exactly the same functionality. I highly doubt that they'd make you have to go and change the skin colour um, first before it'll work on the DNA scanners. Um, because, frankly, if you naturally find it as a black one and then you have to change it to a white one before it becomes useful, I would have extreme problems with the developers of this game. Of this game. Um, so let's not get into that. Let's just keep exploring and let's try and find a DNA scanner so that we can start using this thing and hopefully discover a new location that hopefully might lead us back to the computer. Because that's our main objective at the minute, is getting back to the computer. Okay then. Um, okay, so I guess I'll go through this one then, just for the sake of it, because this is a sort of in the middle one. I think I've been through the other one at least once. So let's just have a look round see what we can find. I don't mind the look at this. Right time gal? Nope. Empty as a miser's charity pot. Shut the door please, thank you very much. Okay, where does this lead? Ooh! Aha! Excellent! This leads us to the Omega Warhead silo, which we need this to get into. Ah. First bench. How are you? You have a nice tie. <laughs> Much of a stupid thing on Family Guy. Um, men! We know how to be friends. Oh. Oh, I think I saw this on one of those surveillance cameras. In that room, the light lockdown switches on. Is that a bomb? Is that a great big boom boom? Not a boom boom shake the room, but a different kind of boom boom. Well, it would shake the room, it would do an awful lot more than just shaking it. Remote detonation Omega Warhead, remote detonation Alpha. What? What's that? Uh, what? You put on the vest if you're slightly encumbered. Ballistic vest? Oh, so if I ever meet anybody who's got a gun, I could put that on and I'd be less likely to die. Okay, that's good. That's something I can get behind. Oh, I can't just carry it? Oh, I've got to wear it permanently. Hmm, well that's not great. I can't carry any more items. Go away. Okay, what's this? Nuclear device document. Modular site project, a proposition for nuclear device deployment by Dr. Harp. The Alpha Warheads, page 10. Four one kiloton hydrogen bombs designed to demolish the area above the facility without causing major damage to the underground parts. The facility. Omega Warhead. A five megaton hydrogen bomb designed to demolish everything within a five mile radius including the facility. That's powerful if that's underground. Demolition requires level five authorization. Blast shield designed to protect the facility in of alpha warhead demolition. See page 24 for details, schematics and te technical information. 
Oh, I see. So these are like last resorts. They can either blow up the alpha warheads in order to prevent anything from getting out because they just flatten the surface. Or they can blow up the Omega warhead and blow up everything. Fascinating. I'm curious where this QR code goes. Give me a moment. Let me see what this is. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to read. Well, I guess I'm turning these off then because I don't want to die. That's what you get for standing around. I should have paused. Right. Okay. Right. Okay, it didn't open a web page, it just opened my notes. And it's written main server public modular site uh, project with a number of uh, dashes in it. So that didn't really leave me. <laughs> Not you again! Sheesh. I am sick to death of the doctor. Frankly, he can just go. Do one. Uh, what the, oh, oh, what? Oh, great! I'm just kind of like ghost again. I don't have a med kit. Oh, sheesh! Great! Now I'm gonna die. Hi again. You have a weirdly elongated forehead today. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna give you the pleasure of killing me. Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm here. Again. Okay, right. okay. So I'll go back and I'll turn those off just because. I can't imagine that there's any switches in this game that you're not supposed to flip, because what would be the point in having a switch there that you're not supposed to turn? So I'll go down there, I'll grab the... Uh, rather, I'll, I'll flip the switches and we'll, we'll, we'll run back up. Okie dokie, we've turned the warheads off. Is the Doctor still going to be here? Because if so, I'm going to have to go through a different door in order to access the rest of the heavy container. So. Well, he's not here yet. I'm putting no money on the fact that he's not here at all. At least because we encountered the ghost back in the light containment zone, that hopefully means the ghost is trapped in the light containment zone and is not going to be coming back. Okay, so keep exploring. Let's see what we else can find. Oh, hi again. I remember seeing you ages ago. I don't remember what's around here though. Entrance zone. Yeah, I, I, I need to get in here, I think. But nothing happens. I think that's because there's a lockdown in the entrance zone. I need to find some way of releasing that. Because, oh, gosh, we're here again. Um, what was this way? I can't say that I remember. This is different. I haven't seen this before. I'm going to save. That's probably dangerous, but I'm going to save. Entrance zone. Is this one open? I need to get in here. This is... Bang, neighbor... They won't let me in. Oh, that's driving me crazy. I don't know why. I'm guessing... I mean, I think that was the response I got when I tried to open the... The heavy containment area before I opened the lockdown on that. So I'm guessing that's the problem. Oh, we need a keycard. What the... What the heck is this? There's more night vision goggles. I don't see how those are, right? Read anything on this computer? What's with the howling? I feel like something's following you. Not. Do not tell me I've just run into another like, ghost. What the heck? No. No, you're not Rectum Gal, you're something else. What? What is any of this? What is this document? Dr. L's note. Aversion to light, my foot. He doesn't mind light. I can't read that because this is calligraphy. And as I've said many times before, I'm really bad at calligraphy. Ah, I can't get in here. Try to attempt it. We keep moving. I do not want to. Please say this one works. I do not want to get caught by the ghost again. Oh, hi again, you. Great. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Between a ragtime gal and a ghost. Fantastic. Okay, I can go a different way here, though. So maybe I can find another way out. Another way to something. Another way to you, your ragtime gal, which probably means this is a dead end. It probably means I'm already ruined. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to blow the mic out like that. Oh gosh. Okay, right. Never mind that. Um. Okay, so that's that's definitely ragtime gal's containment problem. 
if I remember correctly, oh gosh, I'm not going that way again. I've had it with going that way. I can't get it. Can't get anywhere that way. Oh gosh, not this again. Oh, where are you? There you are with your tiny eyes, which are almost impossible to see on the camera because for some reason OBS picks things up in a different light than everything else does. Oh great, well we've got this. Anyway, as I was saying, I seem to remember that in this... Yeah, I do not want to look at you. Oh, good, my vision's clear. Uh, no, it... God, stop it. Oh, gosh, which way did it come from? If I remember correctly, you can recontain Ragtime Gal. You can lock him up again. You can lock him back in his, in his cell if you do the right things. Just stop it. So I'm hoping that maybe if I if I either survive this or I reload, I may be able to get back to his containment cell and then I may possibly be able to lock him up again and then we'll finally be free of him and wouldn't have to constantly be being irritated by him day in and day out and hounded by him, which would make this game an awful lot easier. So let's see if we can manage that. Oh no, no I am dying. Fantastic. This is the main problem, you see. Just getting touched by him is practically a death sentence, because you either definitely die, or you just get so injured that you almost undoubtedly die, so there's just no way you can survive it, really. Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm back here again. Okay, let's try and get back to wherever we were before, and try and see if we can lock him down. Get him in some... is this the way I went? I think so. Yes, key card. Yes, this is what I want. Yeah, you, 106. Yeah, that's your number. Right, okay. Yes, this seems familiar. I've read about this. Right, okay, so. Should be, somewhere there should be some kind of control room. Just aware of the fact that he may soon turn up. Yes, right. I need to turn this on. To get an audio feed. Then I need to make you suffer because he's a sailor who follows something. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. I don't know what to do about it. It's you or me, and at this point, it's me. I mean, it's, well, it's you or me that survives. Right, okay. A bit bad now. Come on now, he should appear in there. Oh, is he? It's not coming off of me, is it? I'm gonna trust. Yeah. I do good. I do bad. I don't know, I don't see him. Maybe he's not coming after me. I may have done it wrong, but... Just maybe he's... Maybe defeated. He might have done it. He might have... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, isn't this supposed to... Yeah, I have done this wrong, haven't I? Yeah, this is supposed to be on the ground to start with. Yeah, there you are. Hi. Yeah, I'm not even going to give you the pleasure of it, mate. I'm not even going to give you the pleasure. Right, okay, sorry. I made a mistake there. He's supposed to be... His cell is supposed to be on the ground, and then you're supposed to hurt the man, and that then lets him get into the cell, and then you're supposed to take it back up again. Right, that's what I was supposed to do. That's what I didn't do. That's the stage that I forgot to do. Right, okay, never mind that. Let's do it again. Yeah, because it's held up by massive magnets, and he, I think he has to pass through physical objects in order to move. He can't pass through air, maybe? So maybe because it's floating that stops him getting out? I don't know. It works somehow, and it's good enough for me. Yes. This is what's supposed to be on. This is supposed to be off. This is supposed to be on. Nope! 
I'm not going to serve a purpose, mate. There are some documents here which would be interesting to read. What? What's that this? I'd not like to be here. Bad. Kind of don't as well. Hmm. Yes. Yes, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Please say I'm doing this at the right moment. Yeah, I do good, I do bad. I'm guessing this is right hand gal's document. No, this is something else. In the event of a breach event, 016 is given within 10 to 25 year age bracket will be prepped for recall. Um, Compliance can tape itself being replaced and restored with use. When the cell is ready, the lure subject will be strapped to the platform inside the cell. The cell is locked and sealed. In order to let up 106 inside, yeah, power the magnets down, initiating the recall protocol. In order to make hydraulic press, the femur breaker is used to ensure, is used to injure the lure subject. The sound emitted by said subject will be transmitted over the public broad, a public address system. Once one sits into the cell, it must be lifted back up using the electromagnets. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Did it work though? I mean... I mean, he's not here, at least not yet anyway, I mean, I'm around longer than I was before, so maybe I did it right this time, or maybe I did it slightly too early, or slightly too late. Yeah, look, it's floating now, yeah, look, it's got these magnets at the bottom, it's pushing it up. Hmm. Maybe the music's just playing because I'm sort of nearby him, because he's still in that box, so I'm just nearby, and that's why it's playing. He's not actually able to chase me, he's just close, perhaps? Maybe that's the reason for it? I'm not going to say, just in case, I don't want to spoil it. Because obviously I can't kill that man twice. Um, more's the pity. But, but uh, I think we may have done it. We may have just taken this game from being quite difficult to being an awful lot easier. <laughs> okay, dokie then. Right, okay, we can get back to exploring, and exploring a lot more freely now. That's probably going to transpire that somebody else is going to turn up in order to try and kill me instead. Like this thing here. I think this is the ghost, which implies that somehow they've managed to get a picture of it, which I must say is impressive. Oh gosh. Right, okay. You and me, we're gonna have a little dance, we are. Come on you, yeah you. Go all the way down, we're gonna run around and I'm gonna lock you in here with your best pal, Corrosion Incorporated. And we're gonna stay there forever. You blood-stained, mitted freakazoid. Come on. Right. You and me, we're going to go on a little race. We are. Who can get back to the door sooner? Oh, really? You're that smart? You know how to double back around? Well, screw you. You don't have enough how to walk around objects in the centre of a room, which is rather stupid. You know, for a man of science, a man of medicine, I would have expected you to know how to walk around a pillar, but maybe I put my expectations a little too high of you. Right, I've now locked you behind the level 5 keycard. Lock. Get out of that, Mr. Man of Science. M mind you, I can't even get up a staircase, so maybe I'm not one to talk. Ah, shut up. Yeah, now I've watched you behind a second door. Just something 
screen right next to me. Oh good, and we're going to have a ghost in here as well. Three of the most irritating people in the history of the universe are all going to be locked in one room. That is how you do it. Proud of that I am. We lock Ragtime Gal, the Doctor, and the Ghost, or at least one of the Ghosts, if there's possibly more than one Ghost. We locked them all in one room, and I'd like to see any of them get out of there. Prepare for me to die to this thing, whatever this is. Biohazard. It doesn't look like a biohazard, it looks like a snowflake, if you ask me. Um. Okay, can I come in here then? The hell is in there? Oh, yeah. Okay, can I come through here then? <laughs> Sorry, I got scared of a. I got scared of something. Oh, I can put it on! Okay, uh. Put on a hazmat. Oh, no. What, 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 what's this? Uh, okay. <laughs> I closed the lid. I'm not convinced that's consequential, but I closed the lid, I suppose. Can I take this thing off now? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want that open. Gases might still come in. Oh, you're just gonna be there forever, are you? Good. I ain't going through that door. I don't care what's in there. I don't care if the Ark of the Covenant's in there. I ain't going in there. Oh boy. Okay, so this was a fruitful little corridor to explore. We got rid of three of our worst enemies. I should have known, however, that the Skittering Stalker was going to reappear the minute we got rid of those guys, but never mind. Okay, we can't go through there. This is the way we came. Let's have a look over here. Oh, of course, this again. This door doesn't open, does it? No. But now that the ghosts from the Doctor have gone, I might have better like getting past this guy. Assuming I don't accidentally walk into it. See, I can be good at games. See, I, 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 can, I can be with all the cool kids who are good at games too. See? See? I really can! I can defeat bad guys and get access to new areas! I'm cool. This is completely new. I've never seen this before in my life. Oh, come on. I thought I'd get to join the cool kids club. I thought I'd get to join them with all the cool kids that do cool stuff on YouTube instead of failing miserably day in and day out and looking like a total idiot like I do. I thought I got to be cool. And everyone would have come to my birthday party. Oh, I'm on about her. I'd like to party in my life, you can probably won't guess. Oh, well, never mind. This is fine. Oh, God, here again. Well, do I remember this? I'd give her a bit of a whirl and sprint over there, right? I will feel a glow. That door opened by itself. Hi, 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 hi! Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door! Open the door. So. It seems it's not a ghost. It would seem it is merely a creature that can only be seen while whilst, 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 whilst wearing nitrogen goggles. I cannot speak to save my life. <laughs> oh, shut up. Ah, bag name, but you don't know the key code. No, you don't know the code, do you? No. I don't want to go in the maintenance tunnel. Fine, I'll fucking navigate my way around the ghost. But, I mean, it's not a ghost. I don't know what it's called. I didn't check its number. I know it starts with. <coughs> There's two of you! Maybe I'm going in here. Call the other. Oh, gosh. We'll call it faster! Ah, oh, you freaky looking things. You're piggybacking riding on each other. Come on. Oh, shit. Every episode, we manage to discover something new. That's what I love about this game. It always somehow manages to surprise me. Even if I have managed to completely defeat it. Now let's see if I can remember which way I went before. I 
think it was this way. Yeah, we came across this really, really long corridor that I thought was one of those looping corridors that ends up having origins. Yeah, look at that! Have you ever seen such a long one? I mean, honestly. So long! Yes, I'm gonna keep making these jokes until somebody tells me to stop. Oh gosh. Did I see him? I really hope I didn't. How did he get out of his box? Oh dang it, we're here again. I've gotta go by him. I think this is the way that this might possibly be the way to the computer. I'm not sure, I'm not convinced. I don't No! Well, hi. You're actually going to kill me this time, because you didn't last time. <laughs> you show the people at home what you can do without pushing me to my knees like you did last time? You don't think you're a bug, because you... Okay, okay, okay. So, a large amount of blood finally been reducted. DNA identified as subject D9541. Most likely dead to reducted by... And I six. After depriving their victims of sleep, 966 will stalk their prey until the lack of rest incapacitates it. At this point, it will proceed to consume it. I th is that the picture of the ghost? I don't know. Where am I now? Oh, I'm here again. Right. Did this actually take me anywhere useful? Or did it just take me to the bit right to go to the next time again? Because that didn't really get me anywhere useful. Unless on the other side of... 096, there is something useful. Never mind then, then we'll just go back exactly the same way we did and we'll try and get by 096 again. Okay. Oh, you fell through the floor again. <laughs> oh man. I don't usually like buggy games, but I don't mind when I'm getting rid of him. Okay. It seems like, um, 173, I think the number is, Skipping Stalker. It seems like he's turning up a little bit more now that Right Time Gal has been defeated, so maybe that's sort of programmed into the game at some point, that if you get rid of, um, uh, 106, this chap, um, perhaps if you get rid of him, then instead of him being the main bad guy, it then switches over to 173 being the main bad guy instead and chase you around like that. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you crying. I should have seen that before. Okay, I've gone by him. I've gone by him. I've gone by him. I'm past him. He's past. Okay. He did it. He did it, kid. Ow! I smashed my foot into the bottom of my desk and it hurt a lot. Ow! <laughs> oh my foot! Oh. oh god! I have a real bad blunt today, haven't I? Oh gosh. Well, I think that's going to have to be the end of this episode then. Um. We, we did some good stuff. We didn't really make a whole heap of progress, but we got away from 196 um, and the 939s in the basement, which was the stalemate we were in before, uh, and we locked him up. And I think we managed to lock one of the ghosts up. It seems like there's three ghosts, maybe, um, which isn't great. Judging off the size of the cell they were in, I would have thought there'd only be one of them, but I guess they don't particularly like them very much. They probably don't give them much creature comfort. But anyway. We locked up the Doctor. Whether that's permanent or not, I don't know. He may just despawn from that location and respawn somewhere else, but for the time being, he seems to be gone. Uh, we locked up 016, which I reckon is going to be permanent. We locked up uh, one of the ghosts. There's still two more ghosts, as it seems, and we've actually discovered what the ghosts look like. They seem to just not appear unless you're looking through uh, night vision. We also discovered that 096 is not permanently in that room anymore. He likes to wander. Um, 173 seems to be the new, the new kid in the block. On the block, rather. Um... We got the hand, so we can get through the DNA scanners, we got into the, the entrance zone, even though we got kicked straight back out of it again. 
Um, one thing I really want to find though, actually, is this. Because this is a key that goes to a door, but I don't know what door it goes to. I know it goes to a weird wooden looking door someplace, but I've got no idea where. So I want to find that, I want to find the door that this goes to, and I want to find the computer. Eventually we'll find it, hopefully in the next episode we'll make a bit more progress towards actually getting out of here. But thank you all very much for joining me this evening into this adventure of getting scared out of my skin. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, look after each other, and good night.